Hey, it's Joseph here. You might recognize this device since I showcased it in some videos ago on this channel. And I have said that I'll be testing out a few NAS workflows that is provided by Synology. And today I wanted to do this video to follow up on it. And this specific device's model name is DS220J. I really have been enjoying this device as well as testing out a bunch of NAS workflows and really putting this device to the test. And one might ask, why do we need NAS setup, network attached storage? Well, it is because it becomes your personal cloud storage. Basically, this gets connected to your router, becomes a storage that you can access from anywhere in the world if you have access to the internet. And that sounds like a lot of work in terms of management of all the files and networking and all the things that I don't know how to do. However, Synology really made the whole ecosystem easy enough for someone like me who doesn't understand programming at all or networking at all to utilize this service and become basically a cloud storage without subscription fee. So as long as you purchase their device like this and put in the hard drives in there, all of the services and the apps that you can use off of their software is all freely available. And because they have lots of apps that you can use such as Synology Photo, music streaming, video streaming, and also accessing all of your storage files and stuff. So all of those things become really readily available for you just like any other cloud storage solutions that you have. But yeah, it is just sitting in your device, not somewhere out in the cloud that you can't access to or keep paying the subscription for. So that is sort of long-winded answer of why we need NAS or why do I need NAS. There are a couple of other things to consider such as security and also the speed of device because it is in your network rather than somewhere else. So it becomes really fast in that regard. I do have a couple of talking points here. So I'm going to glance at it every now and then. And this device works for all cross platforms, Windows, Mac, Apple, Android, Chromebook, and smart TVs, all the smartphones and tablets. So you can imagine using all of those data and the storage off of all of your devices that you have. Okay, that's all great. But today's video is actually about another device from Synology, which is this box over here. So I'll just put that on the screen so you guys could also see it and perhaps go over a couple of differences between all the models that they make. Synology makes multiple devices, so there are a lot of model names and all the characters that may not tell you all the story of. So I'll just kind of briefly explain what kind of tiers of devices they have so perhaps you have better understanding of the platforms and the units they offer. And just to start off, this white device over here was the one that I said it was sort of the beginner unit, the entry level device, and it is DS220J, and the J stands for the entry level device. So it is much cheaper than other devices, but also kind of offers the less of a feature, less of the advanced features that you may need. And the price for this was only $170. So you can get your own device and basically install any of the hard drive or the capacity of hard drives that you need in side and it offers two bays so you can basically put in 16 terabyte each so total of 32 terabyte of storage that you can put in here and for those of you who are curious on the front you've got a couple of led lights indication over there and then a simple power button to turn it on and off when needed and then as you go around you'll see the fan to cool things down and then USB 3.0 ports for you to connect external drives. And I have used them to migrate those files into this drive before and the main connection of the LAN cable, the ethernet port, and then also the power and then the Kensington lock. So all of those are sort of basic for any NAS drive and it doesn't offer anything more than that, but that is basically good enough for any 
person who's starting with the NAS server. And because this is an entry level device, and I was also a entry level user for NAS drive. So I really have tested a bunch of things on this device and noticed a few things that's not really working for me. And I say a few things, but it really was one thing. I just threw just too many files that needs large amount of processing. Mind you, for the purpose of accessing the files inside of this device from anywhere around the world where you have internet, it was absolutely fine. It did not require that much of a processing, so it was fast and it was easy to access and you have absolutely no problem with that. However, there are some processes that require processing of the CPU, such as streaming movies and then music, and also the photos and the videos that you have archived for it to show on your smartphones, like the Synology photo, then those kind of require some processing to be done before it can all be loaded up to the cloud system so that your phones or tablets could load it up. However, I was looking to replace my Google Photos because I had loaded all of my lifelong photos and videos onto that. But since that is no longer free, so I wanted to download all of that and load this unit up with those so that it can process all of that and basically become my Google Photos replacement. However, the problem was that I have 100,000 photos and then 3,900 videos for this device to process. And then I have realized that this device took a very long time in processing those data. Therefore, I started looking for a solution that's gonna do processing a lot faster and perhaps have a bit more expandability from the initial entry level device. And turns out Synology does offer a variety of different devices that I can upgrade from this. So I wanted to kind of introduce a few. So this was DS220J, and then there's another sort of a standard level, maybe like a tier up from this device, which is called DS218. And that is without the J indicator, which says that it is an entry level. And that one is equipped with faster CPU, four core processor, and then the transcoding and processing data is much faster. So you can certainly rely on it to process the photos and the videos that I'm gonna load them up. And also it can do 4K video streams. And it does have a eSATA port on the back of the device so you can actually expand the device. And then it also has a USB 3.0 copy button so that you can connect external storage device to it and then press that button to basically copy over all of those things into your device. And I think that would be a good solution for those of you who are looking to do work from home slash small business setup so you can access all of those files quite easily. And it is also capable of setting up a surveillance stations with 15 IP cameras. And the price for that unit is only 250. So it is definitely an upgrade from here it is actually a black unit so you'll kind of recognize it once you see it so it is priced a little higher than this device however it is equipped with more advanced feature that you can certainly expand on and i think that device might have been suitable for me too but i also wanted to enjoy a bit more expandability so here is the device that i would like to showcase Today. The model name for this device is DS720 Plus. I don't know if you can see that character over there, but the plus stands for the expandability and more advanced features. It is a two bay unit just like this one and the other one that I have described, the DS218. And it also is equipped with faster CPU, four core processor, and it actually has two M.2 NVMe slots for adding cache SSD for more speedy transaction, which is kind of more advanced stuff than just the hard drive. And the internal memory can be expanded to six gigabytes if you wanted to, and more advanced solutions are available on this unit which I kind of don't understand all so I won't just pretend that I know all and it does offer two LAN ports with eSATA port on the front for you to connect the expandable storage that Synology also offers and it does have more USB 3.0 ports on the back as well as on the front for more expandability 
and because it has the slots on the front it's going to be much easier to access the drives and swap it out if you wanted to and the price for that is $400 so that's definitely something that you need to look out for but because the model name is DS720 plus it is capable of having total of seven bays with the expandable storage that connects to this device so the expandability is quite a lot with this one. So with that, I wanted to unbox this device here so that I can show you what it looks like and talk about those features so that I can draw the difference between the initial entry unit that I have tested for, but what I can expect off of this one. Nicely packaged in. Let's go through the accessories first. So here is a power cord and then power adapter. I am noticing that the power adapter is bigger than the other one. Perhaps it consumes more power. And then the LAN cables, RJ45, with a couple of screws for mounting your drives. And on this one, we got keys for accessing the drives, perhaps. And then here, we've got the main device, which it is encased on this fabric along with the quick installation guide nice looking black color over here so Synology logo with plastic and then on the bottom I can immediately see some slots for you to insert your NVMe SSDs very nice easy access I do have a couple of NVMe SSDs that I can certainly install in here and also the rubber feet to prevent any vibration and nothing on the top or the side other than the logo and then onto the front you can see the drive bays are located here so I suppose you can use a key to lock this up so that it doesn't open but other than that you can just lift it like so and then basically access the drives that you are going to install. So I'm gonna to have to do that. And then there is USB 3.0 ports for you to access it easily on the front along with the power button and then LED indicator. And to the back, you got two LAN ports that was promised and a reset button along with connecting the power here and then also eSATA Port so you can expand onto different devices and another USB 3.0 port for connecting different type of storage and then the Kensington lock with the 90 millimeter fan for you to cool down the device so that is pretty much it in terms of this device so in terms of the size there's not much difference at all I think they are exactly the same but obviously the colors different and also the finish is not glossy on this one kind of shouting more business professional look than the glossy plastic of white here so i do prefer the aesthetics of this and perhaps the performance of this as well and based on what i can see here i think it says one and two over here so i would guess that this is disc one so you just pull that out and let's glance at the quick insulation guide so you basically pull out the drives and then peel the rubber things on the side so open the sides and then insert the drive like so drop it okay it goes in and then once that goes in you can basically snap those things back okay and then also this one here and if you intend on installing your two and a half inch drives then you can basically mount it to the bottom frame and then use the screws to mount is what this installation guide is indicating and that has been mounted securely and then basically lower this thing in and locks it in there easy so now i can set this device up over there near my router so that i have easy connection of the lan cable and set this one to be my nas server and also test a bunch of things and see how fast it can process all of my photos and videos and making sure that i can access them easily across different devices 
And I want to emphasize the fact that Synology really is meant for everybody since it covers everywhere from the beginner entry level to the advanced users who's able to utilize all the apps and features that are built into the Synology ecosystem. So I'll definitely follow up with more content on this Synology NAS setup and how I can use this in my professional workflow. Thank you Synology for sending me this device to test it out and showcase to you guys. And if you have liked this content, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel as well as leaving some comments of certain things that you are wondering about this device over here so I can follow up on those content later. And thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.